as, as we begin to look at school as a whole and really look at um, needs for our students, we, we looked at 21st, 21st century skills that the students were needing for the workforce. And so we researched and found an article in Time Magazine and it talked about a micro society school. In essence, it's a rehearsal of the real life at the elementary level. A micro society school is a setting where students operate their own little society and complete with businesses and the government component, which really makes it unique. They have lawyers, judges, just like they do in the real sector. We have a treasury, we have a bank. There are actually at this point 16 mentors and agencies. They actually hold jobs, they get paid, they pay taxes, they go consume. And the children from K through third, we call the consumers, they come once a month and they consume. They utilize the money they earned by coming to school, by performing well in class, and after they pay taxes and rent, and the leftover money is they come and consume with their parents and their classroom teachers. The other day we do our, our regular classroom, South of Canaan, with your teachers, but in the afternoon from 2 to 2.45, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the whole school goes into micro mode. Each venture agency has to have a business plan. They've got the VP of Marketing, Production, Human Resource, and the Finance. In fifth grade, I was with the hard drive, mm -hmm. and I was the treasurer of the CFO. The, so I had to write all the checks for everyone, and there was like 10 people, and then I had to get on the computer and balance the company checkbook. They have to go to the bank, they have to have an account, they have to write checks in order to get part of their grade. They have to balance a ledger, so they have all these skills and understand the concept of you can't spend more than you have. What makes a successful business is um, having everything organized, planning it out first. Go take um, surveys for the kids and ask them what, what kind of food they wanted, what kind of drink they wanted, maybe something we were going to try new. We would go take surveys to different class. I don't know if they'd, I didn't know what they wanted, then I would just be lost. I wouldn't know what to, what to put out to. Um, help be successful in the business. Their business plans have got to be presented to a community member and the students are exposed to these adult role models. Their aspirations are to be like these role models that come in. Students are very engaged in the learning. They're very excited of, of the learning um, because it, it really is connecting their curriculum to real life application. Every year, the fourth, fifth, sixth graders have three jobs, so every year they have to switch. They cannot stay in their same job. So at the end of it, they've had three careers. When they leave our school, our goal is that they know more or less the career path they would like to follow when they leave elementary school. The first president of, the, of a Sage and Micro Society is a law student at Berkeley University. It is our hope that these students own a business someday and, and, and make a real impact in the economy of our country. I think if we start working with our children in early age, we will not have a problem working with college students in regards to credit cards. We start teaching them how to manage their money properly. Well, I've benefited from it because I, when I grow up, I don't want to be confused. And at a young age, we're learning how to work with real-world real scenarios and situations that will help us. I can learn how to work with money and how to keep it in check and not waste it on anything that's not important that what's happening here is financial literacy at its best in action. You know, we talk about developing the school that we want our own children uh, to attend. And currently I have my grandchild attending Sageland. She's in kindergarten. And she's there really because of the, of the great teaching, number one, and number two, because of the micro society.